Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Gentleman from Hampton, Ms. Ward. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for a request and a point of personal privilege. The gentlewoman has the floor. First, Mr. Speaker, I ask that the journal reflect that the gentlewoman from Richmond is away today on pressing personal business. The journal will so reflect. And next, Mr. Speaker, I am back. <laughs> and not a day too soon, because today many of you may realize it's actually not National Multiple Sclerosis Society Awareness Day right here in the Capitol. But due to the recent storm, the MS act activists were unable to meet with us at the General Assembly today. But uh, they are reaching out to us online and by way of email and social media to advocate for our caregivers and to ask that we close the health insurance gap. Multiple sclerosis is an unpre unpredictable, often disabling disease of the central nervous system that disrupts the flow of information within the brain and between the brain and the body. Some of the symptoms range from numbing, numbness and tingling to blindness and paralysis. The progress, the severity, and specific symptoms of MS in any one person cannot be predicted, but because of advances in research and treatment, we are leading to a better understanding and moving to a world closer from uh, multiple sclerosis. There are 2.3 million individuals worldwide and 12,000, and I like to say 12,001 people right here in the Commonwealth living with multiple sclerosis. And just on the personal note, many of you may have remembered some four years ago, I stood here on this floor in about four inch high, high heel shoes. And I just boldly proclaim that I may have MS, but MS shall never have me. Well, yeah. my message is a little bit different this year after a week that I had last week. And my message now is MS does whatever MS wants to do. And but with the good health insurance that we have and cutting edge medication that I'm able to receive, I have been able to receive what I need to pull myself through this flare up. So my message now may be, although MS did what it wanted to do last week, this week I'm back and I'm going to do what I supposed to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. MS is messing with the wrong person. 